Hello everyone, Sakuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. Yes, we are once again back in the world of Kaiser Redux, because uh, I said that if that video from before got 6,000 likes, that we would do another one. And oh boy, did you people like Jesus. You like Jesus too, don't you, little kitty cat? Yes. For today's episode, I have been joined by Moonbeam, my cat, who is very eager to say hello to everyone. Isn't that right, Moonbeam? Yes. Hello. Are you, are you rubbing on the mic right now? Yeah, you like it that much? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Just like before, we are jumping back into the world of Poland, so that is going to be a whole host of fun, I'm sure, as no one has ever said about Poland in history. Of course, we have to load up Jesus Poland because we need to make sure that Poland has the special feature on that allows Jesus Christ to come back. I'll probably do a poll here in the future to determine uh, which one we should do from among all of these next in this because, oh boy, is this wild. Anyway, let's begin. Once again, for anyone who is a first-time watcher, the world of Kaiser Redux is a world in which Germany won World War I. Kaiser Redux takes all the crazy parts of the original Kaiserreich mod, and it amps it up to 10, and keeps even some of the more wild stuff in. I probably will not show nearly as much at the beginning as I did in the previous video. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch that one, because a lot of the setup is going to be pretty much the same. Of course, I did learn that it was just sheer dumb luck that last time I got completely screwed over by everything. There is a very low chance that every single power in in the world ends up becoming dominated by the communists. The fact that I had to go up against the communist Russians, of which there wasn't a high chance of that happening, plus everything that occurred over here. Yeah, no, I, I was pretty much guaranteed to lose from the start, and it was sheer dumb luck that that happened. And by dumb luck, I mean horrible, horrible, shitty luck. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us this time. Let's go ahead and get all this going. Industry, and let's begin. Once again, we're in a bad situation. We don't have a king. We're going to go ahead and blitz through all this, and we're going to break the idea of the great debate and screw the sim, or sem, sedge, set sem, however the hell you pronounce any of this crap. Polish is a fun language, if also one that just hurts me to look at. And then uh, there's a crash. Everything burns. Black Monday. Always the fun stuff. Always the fun stuff as the world burns to the ground. Lovely. Economy fails. Regency, do something. Seize all the German assets. Wonderful. City is getting bombed. I guess, usual for Poland. No political power. No stability. No fun. Sounds like Poland. The council is distracted. Well, it's hopeless. No one can do anything. So that means that the government should collapse now at this point. The regency and the that word is in danger. Government collapses. Everything goes to shit. The countryside is on fire. And what happens? Well, once again, the Christians take over. How fun! And after the bullshit of the Great Debate, now it unlocks the great and amazing, weird, religious stuff that we can do over here as Poland. We have to slightly fix our politics first, so let's go ahead and get that done, and we'll follow that same kind of path here. Germany abandons Poland. Yes, that is done. Ignore us. It's just Christianity. That has never been a threat to anyone, particularly in Eastern Europe. Looking at you, Lithuania. Let's go ahead and start fixing all of our stability and power gain issues and make a rush down here to fix our economy. Again, just the sheer amount of bonuses that we get against Germany are wonderful. I really hope that we will not have to deal with more besides, really, Germany, because, oh boy, I, I, I don't want to have to face that same kind of crap again. And from this, let's go ahead and start cranking out some military experience and get that going. We need to start increasing this as much as we possibly can. My cat has come to check and see and make sure that we are playing things properly. All right, there we go. That's the basic of the politics done. Now we switch over here and once again, focus on industry. Get this going and completely fix our issues with Black Monday. Alf Landon elected president of the USA. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Wait, that's that's different than what I anticipated. Not, not Huey Long? No? Well, that is going to be weird. Let's go ahead and restructure the bank and we'll reintroduce the uh, Zot, 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 God damn it, Polish. Come on. I'll call it the Little Zotty, the currency of every aspiring Polish rapper. All right. So far, nothing too weird, I think. I think I, I don't really quite know. I mean, Asia is burning. This, 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 everything is on fire over here. But it's fine. It's totally fine. Nothing to see here. And off in America. Oh, I guess there is actually going to be a civil war here. Or was am I was reading that? Alf Landon isn't the original winner. No, it's supposed to be Huey Long, right? Well, can't stop Americans from fighting each other now, can you? Russia announces ambition. Oh, oh, whoa, wait. What 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 are the what are the plans here? National populist. Okay. Okay. Well, nationalism and populism in Russia have never been good for Poland. We will say that at least. Yep, there goes the civil war. All right, America burning to the ground. No, nothing really unusual. But now with the basics of our industry done, it's time to hard focus on politics. Once again, get a letter, get a lead do, do, do a, lot, a lot of this stuff, I guess. And integrate the Patriots, get all that population war support. Oh, hi, kitty cat. That, that, that's your tail. That's your tail on me right now. Wonderful. Panama declaring on Costa Rica. Of all places, Panama, that seems a little bit aggressive for you. Wow. Okay. Market liberal, huh? Are you... 
<laughs> Are you trying to seize the bananas and everything from the other side? But we have our own cleansing to do in the first place. My God, this is always so spicy. But everyone is declaring war on each other. Chile and Argentina, along with the civil war down here in the south, the Patagonian workers front. Go ahead and get Perkins so we can reduce the cost of our infantry equipment production because we will need to produce as many guns as possible. We have got to get a lot of military equipment out here and running. Let's get this going. And there goes the Spanish Civil War. So that is just simply lovely. Peru also declaring war on Ecuador. Okay, there's going to be some serious consolidation here. Oh, oh God. Paraguay is eating things. If everyone in South America is declaring war on each other. Oh no. Here it is, my friends. The Holy Council with the first phase of the rebirth of Poland done. The time has come to call a grand council composed of all the different crazy Christian groups and determine which crazy Christian group is going to be in charge of all of us. Last time we went with the knightly orders, which is this middle path that gives a lot of uh, basic bonuses, like stupid stuff to attack, recruitable population, all, all the good stuff. This is like a classic knightly Poland that ends up making Jesus the, the physical king. Like a literal portrait of Jesus as the ruler of Poland. Go back and watch that video. It's fun. So the question is, weird Christian pagan combination of beliefs or the circle of God? I, I don't I don't know what this is. You know, fuck it. Let's go pagan. By following the path of our forgotten ancestors, we will eclipse the world. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Lekites dominate. Which, oh, wait. Uh, gathering relics, which grants monthly population minus 3%. What? The Great Wanderer will not come back with our dedication to this goal. We need to send out men through the whole world to gather the relics tied to this history. The shroud, the crown of thorns, the nails. All of them are needed for the final ritual? A ritual? Wait, am I going to physically summon Jesus? And also, why is this... What, what the, f what the fuck is this? My flag is a winged hussar riding a velociraptor. What the fuck is this? This is amazing. Okay. All right. Gather the relics. Heard everything here for a while. Let's do it. World's not looking too crazy. I mean, I say that, but everything is still kind of on fire, but nothing that really matters to per se. Oh yeah. Fourth Balkan War. As I said, nothing that really matters. I'm going to get so many angry comments from that one statement. Constitutional American Republic declares war on the United States. Wait, how many factions are we, do we have over here? Oh, I did not realize that there was as many here as there actually are. What? Old Democratic Party, William H. Murray. Dude, this guy looks like a freaking badass. Oh my God. Well, good luck to you, America. I got my own uh, bigger issues to deal with. But I guess like the Confederacy, Jesus will rise again. Though I don't know what form in the situation. All right, there's Gather the Relics. Next up on here, get this done. Our Forgotten Ancestors or the Tribes March. Drive out the Vipers. Fusion of Gods. Interesting. What, prepare the great ritual. Why does it look like I'm about to sacrifice? Our people will have to sacrifice much, but it's all worth it for the great wanderer to come back. Are we performing human sacrifice? I don't want to do this just yet. Okay, we're going to need to do these first. Let's drive out the Viper tribes here first. They've always been a thorn on our sides, exploiting our destitute people and using our savior as a symbol for the evil schemes. Send out the tribes. The synagogue of Satan has to be dealt with. Are we? We're getting rid of the Jews. Oh my God. We're getting, oh my God. The synagogue. I cannot, I, I probably can't say things further in here. Oh my God. What a lot of storms, Moscow. Oh boy. Oh, even more developments in Russia. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not exactly going to be stable over here. And what is this? The prophesized apocalypse. When the tribes of Lucky are recently set on their quest to find powerful relics, there was a certain atmosphere of doom approaching. Some said that it's the papist God trying to destroy our efforts. What? There is a coming duel between the forces of the Great Wander and his greatest enemies that is approaching, and it's finally came today. The revolutionary group known as the Fighters of Human Freedom, or BLW, stormed the Lettic Assembly in the capital, and the battles around Warsaw lasted the whole day. What? Fucking commies. Commies tried to take over the government. These mad fools stood to no chance. Just put their head on pikes. Fuck you. We have greater ambitions. All right, so we drive out the Viper tribes and then fusion of gods. We finally realized what was always the truth. The Slavic gods weren't mere idols as the papists told us. We're going anti-Catholic. They've always been aspects of the one true Christ, the Wanderer. It's like Slavic paganism, Hinduism, with Christianity as the focus. What the hell? This is so weird. The flight of the false prophets. Prophets. Oh no, the Pharisees will find no peace in our country, drive him out and burn his legacy. We're destroying all the churches and synagogues, I think. Oh no. Here he took gets assassinated. Oh, how shocking. And yeah, d d d d mo mo more shit is burning to the ground. Our forgotten ancestors, the tribes march forth. We will no longer be made slaves. 
Our brave warriors are ready to destroy anyone in our path. Let the tribes of Lekia go forth and annihilate anyone in their path. In the name of Christ the Wanderer. Oh, Lord. We are becoming even less stable, but also somehow getting more stable at different points. How odd. And there it is. Time for the second coming. The day of the great ritual has come. All the sacrifices won't be in vain. The people of Great Lekia shall gain the greatest reward for their dedication. The Great Wanderer will once again walk this earth and cleanse the whole world world for their sins. Gets event the glory of Christ on earth. Am I summoning God? The second coming is done. What happens? The glory of Christ on earth. The tribes have gathered on the fields outside of Warsaw. The head priest have finally made the final sacrifices and the choir sang out to the heavens for the gods to give the people of Lekia strength in this moment. Then suddenly a radiant beam of light came down onto the altar grounds and shook with the force of volcanoes. The great wanderer has blessed this land with his presence at last. Jesus of Lekia becomes the leader of the national populace. What the fuck? What? 15% recruitable population, 30% attack, 5% less consumer goods, 25... What? No fucking way. I literally have Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this mod? This is amazing. The bonuses on this are so much higher. So wait, hold on. 30% attack from this, 10% from this, that's 40. 45? I have plus base 45% attack on everything, plus additional 10% attack if it's artillery. Oh dear God. Well, while that is definitely amazing, uh, simultaneously, I probably could have focused more on my economy to get things going because that didn't just give me land, but I do have to now justify on apparently everything. So let's start preparing the troops. We're gonna need to get ready. All right, here we go. Just get more of this done and continue to pump out basic units. We don't even need to produce good ones. We could just produce a whole bunch of trash and that, that that's fine. That's perfectly fine. We have so many attack bonus from Jesus Velociraptor leader. Germany proposes a single currency. Yeah, no, fuck off. Whoa, Mexico declaring on the Central American Confeder Confederation. Wait, 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 did that form? Whoa, I've never seen the AI do this. That's actually really cool. Except it's uh, immediately getting killed by Mexico. So good, good luck. Oh God, they are commie-isk. Colombia now declaring on Panama. There's even more happening here. Oh, yep, there goes uh, Mexico taking on Central America. It looking nice and thick. Of course, Colombia is destroying Panama. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, French national state, what, what just happened? War in the desert, what, what is even happening down here? France, who are you fighting now? Oh, whoa, okay, no, no, they declared on France. They declared on France itself. In 1938, dang, that feels like it's early. Or am I wrong? I might be wrong, I don't know. Next up on here, research. Jesus Christ, give me knowledge, give me strength. Let's do this. Whoa, wait, French national worker state declared on, oh, 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 wait, whoa, whoa. oh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That means we could probably take them from the other side. We'll let them grind and fight things out over here for a while, let them grind themselves down. We will need to start preparing defenses though against both Ukraine and also Lithuania on this side. So we'll need some more uh, more troops. Let's go ahead and get these two things and secure some additional military factories then. The Sodom restored. We have the actual Russian Empire now. Okay, okay. That, <laughs> yeah, that, that's not good news for Poland ever. There we go, crank out even more. Just let them grind themselves away here. None of this actually really matters over on this side. We can just pretty much do anything that we want. I actually actually cannot do anything here yet because I just simply don't have enough men. I'm going to produce a lot of the basic thing. I'm not going to invest in anything crazy. I just need more men, more guns, more, more guns, more, more everything, more boomy sticks. I can't even speak right now and I haven't even been drinking tonight. All right. I forgot before we really go to war, we need to get unity in Christ and then go down here for the Holy Grail. Because yes, if you didn't see the previous video, you can get the actual grail. So not only are we going to have Jesus Christ, but we are going to have the Holy Grail. This is, this is just beautiful. Socialist Republic. What is even happening down here? Oh God. Yeah. It's just Paraguay. Paraguay getting thick. Oh my God. Look at you, buddy. Good for you. Good for you. Well, sent, wait, Central America uh, released as a socialist puppet. Ha, ha, yeah, ew. Listen, Jesus may have tried to feed the poor, but this Jesus um, does so after a lot of human sacrifice. Whoa, Germany is starting to make some breakthroughs. All right, we will need to get in here. We will need to get in here fast. All right, there's the quest for the grail. All right, time. I know that it's probably going to be close, but time to cast the demons back to Abaddon. Let's get this, baby. Do I have enough troops? Probably not, but we're going to make the best of the situation and just go for it because I cannot let the French fall completely. Search for the Holy Grail. Even more recruitable population, 5%. We have 25% recruitable population. We can just keep going. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, I guess we're probably gonna have to wait for the Germans to go to war with the Russians. The, I, I am not in any kind of position that I can actually take them on right now. Oh, Russian Empire declares war on Siberia. They better not be in the same kind of faction here as Germany, are they? No, no, they aren't. But they are probably gonna want revenge on the Germans. That is gonna be my time to strike. Ah, the second sign of Japanese war. How lovely and fun. Let's, let's just hope that this all can get its shit actually fixed, because I don't want to mess up again. Okay, there goes the French. They're, they're done, and the Germans are invading britain now okay could could you could you fight off the germans please I, d I don't want them to just immediately win that that could be very scary for me no my friend it, lo it, lo it looks like they're gonna win god damn it oh the fall of london really really it's it's that quick it's that quick and the american union state an authoritarian democrat huey law is coming back turn of the french exiles oh oh the national state actually has control of stuff in the south here oh my god germany got even more puppets oh uh, oh shit russia could you please do something dangerous now please oh no whoa whoa germany just goes and declares war on me you bastards you bastards after all this time now you choose to do this to me poland didn't do anything wrong we just sacrificed a bunch of people to jesus oh boy there they go there they go there they go on the attack hold the line you fucks there we go hold on now come on come on come on you got this you got this you got this hold you dirty fucks we can do this we can do this after all we have the power of jesus on our side look at all those attack bonuses oh they're all joining us as an ally greece everyone is <laughs> at war now germany wait who are you at war with now you're at war with basically the rest of the world great <laughs> hold on hold on are you throwing your troops away are you sending them further away from me against other people are you leaving all of these open for me oh wait no 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 they're not leaving anything open they are they are just still throwing themselves at me yep we're just gonna need to hold out here for a while and kind of try to bleed them out all of mexico city wait whoa 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 oh my god america what are you doing right now why is the world doing this what did mexico and poland do ever wrong come on mexico had the whole human sacrifice thing going with the aztecs i also pat it but with velociraptor jesus there we go just keep on throwing yourselves at me that's the ticket just just let it happen i've lost a grand total of thirty-six thousand. i have wiped out almost four hundred thousand. we're doing just fine oh yes eight hundred thousand casualties now just racking them up all right everything else is kind of falling around us uh bu 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 we're gonna need to do more attacking we're going to need to do more attacking because this is not not working out well for us oh whoa okay wow we are actually blitzing through them way quicker than i thought what is our attack a lot like a, actually a pretty decent amount okay we're we're doing just fine there we go we are breaking through we are breaking through and that surrounds a whole bunch of their units perfect and there we go that's a whole other group wiped out perfect we're actually starting to make some ground the more of this ground that we can take that means more resources more resources means more factories let's keep this going we can keep on pumping these out there we go there's another gap go ahead and crush those and boom we got that it's slow progress, but we're making something, okay? And there we go. Just a lot of micro. Just a lot of micro and crushing them piece by piece. That's all that we can do here. God is with us, my friends. Jesus is with us, and he leads the way here in attacking. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I'm just realizing. Want to, like, there's no men over here. Are they all over on the other side? Where are they fighting? Oh, whoa. Now they decided to throw themselves against... Uh, all right, there we go. There's some more trapped. Not even a big group, but it's going to be something. All right, perfect. Move on in. Wait, Ukraine collapsed? You can't... Uh, you're German Empire is an enemy in the Ukrainian Novorossi. What? Novorossi. Are they allied with Russia? Please. Are they? No, no. They're just de dealing with everything else. Okay. Okay. Well, fine. Whoa. Wait. They recalled all their forces. They recalled all their forces. There's no one on the side. Go. Go, my brothers. Just throw yourselves at the line. I don't care. Sacrifice yourselves. We got this. There we go. I think that's a good attack point. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can push in. We can push in. We can do this. After all, my friends, with the power of Jesus, anything is possible. Just keep on going. I don't even know where all of their units are. This makes no sense. Why am I able to push through? They should have so many more divisions. Where are all of their divisions? It truly is the will of God that is allowing us to do this. I can think of no other reason. Come on. Go, my brothers. Go. We are just outside of Berlin. We can keep on pushing. How many men have we lost? Uh, actually, a lot more at this point, but it's fine. There are plenty more where that came from. <laughs> After all, through the power of Jesus and replication, we can make infinite number of people. Or was that bread? I can't exactly remember which. The fall of Berlin. Yes. Yes. Yes, my friends, through the power of Jesus, all things are possible. Amen. Amen and hallelujah. Oh, oh, Russia. Russia now going after Ukraine. Oh, I never thought I would actually be happy to hear that phrase. 
Ah, dang, okay, that, that was actually way more insane than I anticipated. Listen, I think this is only right, I think this is only right, considering everything that has happened, and I gotta say, the name fits the map perfectly at this point. Now that is art. And now let's go ahead and finish the war off in the other direction. All right, there goes Lithuania. Uh, go ahead and yoink, seize all that. And here we go into the kingdom of Ukraine. God wills it, Deus Volt, Deus Volt Jesus. Ah, yes, perfectly blue, just as all things should be. <laughs> oh my god, this is so ugly. Now, is there room for a little bit of cleaning? Yes, yes, there probably is. As I said, uh, yeah, wor world could world could be cleaner. Austria, I remember what you fucking did years ago. And if I have to sacrifice every man, woman, and child for the sake of revenge, then by God, I will do it. No, literally, by, by God. And you thought that you had the Pope on your side of all things. Ah, Deus Volt, motherfucker. Deus fucking Volt. God, this is simply too easy. There it goes. And that about does it. I think, uh, I think that cleaned things up rather nicely, uh, don't you think? Poland once again rises to supremacy. Everything as it was always meant to be. With the winged Tsars of Velociraptors and Jesus Christ incarnate, I think that this was a great revenge comparison to what we had before. Everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and finish today's episode because, uh, honestly, the focus tree for their ends once you take out Germany and everything else is just justification. It's, it's really interesting. I think that this one was way more weirdly meme-y than the other one, but also it felt like a number of the focus and number of the effects that it would have. Like, I never saw the plus 30% attack that Jesus was supposed to give me. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know what's going on, but nah, it's it's still hilarious. Either way, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that if you want to go to Japan with me here, then please click the link down in my description because I am going to be leading a host trip to Kyoto this November, and you can join me along with uh, like 23 other people. So like there's a total of 24. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Like the video, and if this video can get like 5,000 likes, then I will do the final Poland messianist path. Me mess messianist? We're bringing back some kind of communist messiah, and I don't exactly know what it's going to be. I swear to God, if it reincarnates Karl Marx, I'm going to laugh my ass off. Either way, I will see you guys next time. Have a good rest of your day, and goodbye, everyone.